What's up guys, Johnny May here and welcome to this week's quick tip where I'm going to teach you how to accompany another musician in the jazz swing style. Now many piano players think that in order to accompany another musician they need to learn all of these really rich jazz chords and these really complex bass lines. But the truth is that you can actually accompany another musician in a really cool way by only playing two notes in the right hand. I call these guide tones and then you want to use a stock bass line in the left hand. These are both very simple concepts and you're going to learn both of these concepts today on the tune Fly Me to the Moon. So let's go ahead and dive in. Alright, so the first step is you want to make sure you can play the root position chords for Fly Me to the Moon. So go ahead and play this, this with me. First chord is an A minor 7, A, C, E, and G. Second chord is a D minor 7, D, F, A, and C. Next chord is a G dominant 7, G, B, D, and F, to a C major 7, C, E, G, and B. And you actually might notice all of these chords are only white notes, so it makes it really easy to remember this particular chord progression. Next chord is an F major 7, F, A, C, and E. Then we go to this really cool chord called a B minor 7 with a flat 5. It's B, D, F, and A. Okay? All these chords are built in thirds, so they should be pretty easy to remember. E7 is our next chord, E, G sharp, B, and D. And then we finally end on an A minor 7 chord, A, C, E, and G. Okay? These are the first eight chords in the tune Fly Me to the Moon, and it's really important that you memorize these chords and you can play them in root position. These are called seventh chords, and this is really important to play jazz. You really gotta know your seventh chords. If you don't know your seventh chords, you can study them over at Piano with Johnny. We've got some deep dive uh, courses on that, but I do wanna move you on to the next topic, which is guide tones, okay? And this is really where it starts to sound magical in your accompaniment, is you can take these chords and instead of jumping to each chord, which we just did, you can play them like this. Okay, notice what's happening now in my right hand. Instead of hitting, you know, these big four note chords jumping around, I can basically grab only two notes of the chord in my right hand, and then I'm playing the root here in my left hand, and it sounds really, really nice, and it's very simple to play this way. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this lesson, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel here, hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this, okay? So let's go through all these chords using the guide tones to play the chords. So we have G and C on the top. This is the third and the seventh of an A minor seven chord. You learned this chord earlier. I'm just inverting the note. So I've got that seven on the bottom and that C on the top. Okay, so it's an A minor seven. Now check this out. This is an amazing little trick. My next chord, D minor seven, I'm gonna grab my root there and all I do is drop the bottom note to an F. Okay, really, really cool. Okay, so that's my D minor seven. G seven, I'm gonna grab that G root on the bottom, and this time I'm gonna drop the top note down a half step, and I'm there. Okay, isn't that a cool trick? And we continue this pattern. C major seven, I'm gonna drop that bottom note F down to E, and I'm on my uh, C major seven chord, okay? Next chord, F major seven, we're gonna drop that top note B down to an A, and we're gonna put that F in the root, sounds really nice. Next chord, B minor 7, flat 5, we're going to drop the bottom note down to a D. And then E7, our uh, next chord, we're going to drop that top note down to the G sharp, with that E on the bottom, and then finally we're going to drop uh, both notes this time in our right hand to land on our final chord, which is A minor 7. Okay, so what we just did is we played two notes from each chord, but we learned this really simple trick where you can connect all of your guide tones by simply moving the bottom note down and then the top note down between each chord. This is a really cool trick that you can use on any song that uses this chord progression, which we call a cycle of fifths chord progression. So uh, by the way, if you want to do a deep dive here on guide tones, we have some courses on this topic where you can learn all your guide tones for all your keys. But I do want to play this with the backing track. This lesson does come with a backing track. And let's go ahead and play these guide tones with that bass note. Here we go. Two, uh, here we go. Oh. D minor, G7, C major 7, F major 7, G7. 
doing a great job. B minor seven, E, and back to A, okay? Doesn't that sound awesome? I love the sound of guide tones and they're so simple. Uh, now I do wanna mention this uh, backing track is downloadable at pianowithjohnny.com as well as the sheet music you're seeing here in the top left of the, sc of the screen is downloadable and printable and you can change the key with our smart sheet music with one button. You can practice it in all 12 keys. So I'll put a link to all of that below. But I do wanna move you on and talk about accompanying because once you have your guide tones and you've got those simple bass notes, then you wanna come up with an accompaniment. Now the first accompaniment I call a stock beginner accompaniment. If you're a beginner player, this is the one you want. If you're more on the intermediate side, you might wanna skip ahead to the other two accompaniments. But if you're new to jazz, this is the way that I recommend that you accompany another musician, and it's so simple. Okay, check it out. Basically, I can take each chord and I can do what's called a four on the floor, where I hit the bass note four times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two. Okay, and it actually gives a little bit of movement to the chord progression, right? We continue on F. One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four. E. Now you can have some fun with that right hand. You can pop the chord. Okay, this is where it starts to actually sound really cool is because you get this little syncopated effect where you're basically playing in between the beats, all right? So you can go ahead and practice this on your own. And once you put it together, you can try singing along if you wanna sing with yourself. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sing this. Uh, feel free to sing along with me if you wanna uh, practice singing with your accompaniment. Here we go. Fly me to the moon And let me play among the stars let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. Okay. Sounds pretty nice as an accompaniment. And again, it's not very, it's not very tricky to play, right? This is a really, really nice uh, kind of beginner approach. And again, I encourage you to experiment with your rhythms there in the right hand as you're singing along, or maybe you have another singer or instrumentalist. Now, if you're enjoying this course, I do wanna mention we have a deep dive course on jazz swing accompaniment. I'll put a link to that below if you wanna do an even deeper dive on this topic. But I do wanna teach you another accompaniment I really like to use. If you're a little more on the late in, uh, beginner side, I call this root fifth upper neighbor accompaniment. And here's the idea, okay? When I'm connecting my chords, if I want to connect that A minor 7 to my D, I can do this little trick where I go A, and then I go up a fifth from A, which is my E, and then I come down chromatically into my target note, which is D, okay? In other words, if I'm targeting a, a to D, I want to use the two neighboring notes above the D, which is my target note. So I go E, E flat, D. And now I want to target my G from this chord. Well, I go up two notes from G, which is my A, and then I walk chromatically into my G. And now I want to go to my C, which is down here. I'm going to use the upper two notes from C, D, D flat, C. Right? And then I go G, G flat, F, and then I go C sharp, C, B, and then I go F sharp, F, E, and then I go B, B flat, A. Okay? So we're using what are called upper neighbors. This is very, very important if you want to create bass lines, and it's a very fun, it's a kind of exciting sound. It makes the left hand bass more interesting. Okay? So you want to speed this up. When you get it to tempo, it should sound about here. One, two, three. Again, feel free to pop that right hand whenever you feel like it. This is something you can do as an improviser. And then let's go ahead and try sing, singing this together. Here we go. Fly me to the moon And let me play among the stars Let me see what spring is like On Jupiter and Mars All right, so as you can see, it's starting to sound a little bit more interesting 
And before I teach you the final approach, I call this the intermediate approach, I also want to mention we have a really great course on Fly Me to the Moon. If you enjoy this tune, you can do a deep dive on how to arrange the lead sheet, come up with a beautiful jazz swing arrangement, and, and also how to solo over this chord progression. All right, final technique here, technique here is our intermediate technique, and this is that walking bass technique you heard at the beginning of the video. so much fun to play. And basically for this technique, I'm gonna still use these guide tones in my right hand, but my left hand, I'm gonna walk A, E, A. So I'm using a, like a fifth pattern on each chord, right? A, E, A. And then I'm gonna use these upper neighbors to get to my target chord, which is D. Okay, I'll do it once more. A, E, A. These are fifths. And then I use those two upper neighbors to get to D, and then I'm gonna use the same technique. Okay, I'm gonna go up a fifth from D, which is A, D, and then I'm gonna use my two upper neighbors to get to my G, go down a fifth, and then the two upper neighbors to C, up a fifth, two upper neighbors to F, okay, two upper neighbors to B, and then upper neighbors to E, and then upper neighbors to A, okay? And this sounds really cool when you add the right hand to it. Here's how it sounds at tempo. that really really nice and again have some fun with that right hand the final thing you can do is sing along so go ahead and sing the uh, verse for fly me to the moon here we go fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars in other words and of course you can use these techniques to continue this tune. So how do you learn the chords and the bass for the rest of Fly Me to the Moon? Well, you can learn them in our course, Fly Me to the Moon, but I think the better way of doing this is to pull open a lead sheet, you can find this in a fake book, and then learn how to play your guide tones so that when you see a chord, you can easily and quickly go, okay, here are the guide tones for that chord, and then learn walking bass line techniques. And I will recommend a couple courses to you, which is our guide Tones course and our walking bass lines course. I'll put a link to both of those below. All right, thanks for watching this week's quick tip. And if you enjoyed this lesson, I want to encourage you to check out pianowithjohnny.com. We have over 700 step by step lessons in jazz swing, cocktail jazz, Latin jazz theory, technique, improvisation. It is the full learning platform for all playing levels. Also be sure to check out the Piano with Johnny membership. This gives you unlimited access to our entire course library. Plus you get to be part of all of our live monthly events, including our live Q and A's where you can ask me your practice questions, our live monthly workshop lessons, our student assessments where you can send me a video and I'll give you personalized feedback on your playing. We do weekly challenges for our students and we have a ton of fun. So go check out Piano with Johnny and I'll see you in the next one.